How to file a complaint. A simple guide to help you file a complaint in case you have a legitimate problem when buying an item or service. And with you today... Ahem. <clears throat> Professor Know-It-All. Okay, Professor Know-It-All. Go ahead. Thank you, thank you. Well, let me tell you. If you have a problem with a purchase, the first thing you should do is complain to all your friends on social media. Oh, not at all. I have the Consumer Action Handbook here, and it says that the first thing you should do is inform the seller about the problem. Most complaints are actually resolved that way. And do it as soon as possible because some stores offer limited time for returns and refunds. If your problem is not resolved on the first try, ask to speak with a supervisor or manager. Sometimes it's just a matter of knowing who to talk to in order to resolve the issue. Well, that's what I was saying. So in other words, if you didn't like the final score of the game you watched last night, you should complain immediately so you can get your money back. No, it doesn't work that way. I think I'll need to be more clear. Look, Professor, if for example you buy a television set and you carefully take it home, then you unpack it and the screen is cracked, then you should make a complaint at the place where it was purchased. And if I didn't like the game that I watched on that television, can I return it? You'll never understand. Back to the topic of how to file a complaint. You should meet my friend Luis. <laughs> He's an expert at complaining. Professor, so if the complaint is not resolved after contacting the seller, you should begin a formal process by writing to the business in question and express your complaint following these recommendations. 1. Start by keeping a record of everything that's happened. 2. Contact the seller or manufacturer. Explain the problem in detail, but be brief and to the point, and state whether you want a refund or exchange, and how long you're willing to wait for a response. Don't be threatening or rude. That won't help you. Provide your name, address, and your phone number so they can contact you. 3. If the problem does not get resolved, there are various other options that you can consider, like contacting trade associations or national consumer organizations. 4. You can also contact local or state consumer protection offices or the closest BBB. Oh, yes, of course. Big bad business. No, Professor. The BBB is a Better Business Bureau, which is a non-profit organization that helps resolve consumer complaints. Now everything is starting to become clear. If I have a complaint about a product that I've purchased, I should call to complain. And if it's not resolved, I should write to the seller. And if it's still not resolved, I should contact the closest consumer protection agency. Very good, that's right. And by the way, there are also small claims courts in case none of these options resolve the problem. Is it clear now, Professor? Crystal clear. Professor, if you have any more questions, visit USA.gov. They will guide you to find contact information for businesses and manufacturers and a sample letter of complaint. You can also download or request a free copy of the Consumer Action Handbook for more tips. Okay, but I have one more question. Yes? About the handbook or about how to file a complaint? No, not that. I want to know if we're done because I'm running a little late for the game. Yes, Professor. But remember, for more information and to request your free Consumer Action Handbook, visit USA.gov or in Spanish at gobiernousa.gov.